Today we're checking out Texta AI on AppSumo. I bought this a long, long time ago and I wasn't super impressed with it. And then I retried it recently and it's actually improved a lot. And one of the neat things about it is there's no tiers, there's no stacking codes, there's just one plan, $69 for an unlimited total number of words per month generated. Seems pretty solid because everybody else is charging not this little amount of money for not unlimited words. They have some kind of word count that's a lot less than unlimited. And if you want to hop on this right away before it goes away, because it's been here for a long time, click the link down below. It's an affiliate link. It'll take you to AppSumo where you can buy it. If you do click through that link, I will get a commission from AppSumo. It does not make it more expensive for you. It just helps me keep making these videos for you for free. So if you end up doing that, I really appreciate it. Let's hop into texta.ai. The name is Hard to pronounce, text.ai, uh, it's not hard to pronounce, but it's just, it's weird. I guess text.ai was taken. Uh, so there's 99 different tools, and these are essentially prompts. If you use ChatGTP or an article generator before, you type in, for example, let me zoom in. For example, I want you to write a real estate blog post telling people about this listing, and then ChatGTP will write it. But instead of writing the prompt out, the prompt is pre-coded. All you do is describe the main idea of what you want. You choose the article type. There's a bunch of different article types. I'm going to choose, mm, let's do fun. And then there's tones. And in addition to these tones, there's also in the voice of, you can choose these famous people. There's a pretty wide range from all kinds of different disciplines. It's not unlimited though, and it'd be nice if you could add your own because I'm sure all they're doing is adding a prompt or a sentence at the end of the prompt saying, write in the voice of Bruce Buffer, Dr. Phil, Eminem, Terminator. I'm pretty sure it'd be pretty easy to have us type our own in there, but I guess that's not something they've done yet or want us to do. And I actually have a video on my other channel, the AI Underground, which shows you how to get around AI detection by using voices like this. By saying right in the voice of or in the style of, you can avoid a lot of AI detection algorithms. So check out that video. It's in the card up above in the description down below. It will greatly improve your AI writing skills. So make sure you check that out. We're going to write in the voice of Terminator. And if we click on generate article, it's just going to make the article. And in fact, let's do that. Let's just go generate article and let's open another text to AI so we can do two at once because there's a manual way to do it too. That was the automatic way. Not sure why I have to log in again. If we go back to real estate article, click on manual first. So in the other one, all we do is click generate article. In the manual version, we enter those details. We click on next. Then we choose a title. You cannot type in modifications. So you got to choose what's here or click on regenerate, it'll make new ones, but you can edit them as you go. If you wanna have something where you can edit these titles before you generate, check out Wordplay. That's a great tool for guided um, titles and guided post creation. I've made a video on that as well. It's in the card up above in the description down below. It's still currently in AppSumo, I believe. I could be wrong, but I think it is. Anyway, let's just pick this one right here. I'm not gonna be super picky on what we're doing as far as article publishing since we're not going to publish these articles and it gives us an outline this one you can edit so you can read through this I guess you could edit the topic right here so you can't edit it when you choose it but you can edit it right here this will be the title so you can edit that right there read through if it's good click on generate and then it's going to create the post and what's really cool about these posts that it creates is it adds a bunch of whiz bang to it it's not just a plain article Watch, you'll see what I mean in a second. In fact, let's go back here, maybe this one's done. This one is done. So here's the whiz bang. It's got the title. This was generated with the, the automatic one where you just click one button and generated. It pulled in this image from Pexels. So that's a free to use, royalty free image from Pexels. It adds a table of contents as an intro. Adds content here and then it created what it thinks could be a good call to action to get people to contact you or get on your mailing list or start some kind of course or whatever. Pops that in there, pulls in a video related to real estate. I'm sure if you're interested in real estate, you know these guys, the Property Brothers, puts a quote in here. 
This quote is pulled from the blog post, I believe. No, it's not. I don't know where it's pulled from. Because it's not written in the blog post anywhere aside from there. So I'm not sure where that quote's from, but it's a quote. Pulls in, um, watch me, who's it? Infographics. This is pulled in from Google Images. So I doubt it's royalty free. So you might not want to use that. But it pulls it in and it looks kind of cool. Another video there. That's another real estate guy. What's his name? McDonald, possibly. Uh, so there's another call to action there. And a conclusion on the right hand side, it has a bunch of stats for you to check out. This is pretty basic stats here because I don't know what it's analyzing. Let me put it that way. It has a score of 64 out of 100. And I think that might be just, uh, I don't even know what that's based on. Because if we copy and paste this and put it into Neuron Writer, for whatever keyword you use to generate it, the score is not going to be 64. It's going to be like 20, a lot less. So it hasn't been the best at creating SEO optimized articles, but it's been the best at creating what looks like pretty legit articles with all the calls to action, whiz bangs, and everything like that. And here's the other one. This is image from Pexels again. So that's nice. Another call to action. It's different this time, as you can see. Here we have HGTV videos being pulled in. Another infographic. It's got a common formula, as you can tell. It's like call to action, video, infographic, video, quote. So it has a standard call to action, but it could speed up your workflow in that way. On the social media tab, which is pretty interesting. Well, the metadata, let's go there first. You can generate a title and description. That's not so fun. But the social media is pretty awesome because here's a newsletter one. So maybe you wrote this post, or you wrote it, you had AI write this post, and you want to mail it out to your mailing list. Well, what are you going to write in your email? I don't know. You could just come in here, copy the title, copy the first few paragraphs, and add a link that says read this, and then they click on that and read it. Or we can click on generate and it's going to make an email for us based on the content that we have here. And for social media, we want to do something like that too probably. Let's click on generate. Let's view the article. Sorry, not the article. The email. And here it is. It's not even uh, just a call to action to click to the post. It actually has a lot of detail and a lot of information in the email, which is pretty cool. And I personally will put a link in here somewhere asking people to visit the blog page for more information. They have this blog website in square brackets. So you're supposed to replace that with your link. I put it near the top though, and at the bottom, both. And you can regenerate if you don't like it. Remember, if you go back to AppSumo here, unlimited total words per month. So you can regenerate this email all day long. You could have something that's actually pretty good practice. You could have this email sent out right away when you publish this post. You can regenerate and make another one that you schedule six months from now because the content's still relevant. It's not like, Revamp or relocate is going to change within six months. This is like evergreen content here. So as long as the content's evergreen, you can just keep regenerating these emails and keep sending them out. Keep them on a schedule and people keep coming back to your old content, which is not outdated. It's evergreen. From what I can tell, though, you can't just upload your article from somewhere else to generate the newsletter. But I could be wrong. For the social media generation, Got some Twitter posts here. You think they would update this to X by now? It's been weeks already. Facebook post, a lot of emojis in there. Instagram post, LinkedIn post. It doesn't have the images for you, but it's got a lot of sharing content. And somehow, by doing that, we've upped our blog score to 76. So that didn't affect any of the SEO on the blog itself, on the content. Hold on, this is the other post. This one's still at 64. Okay, so the 76 was just out of the gate. It's not got nothing to do with that, I think. Let's go 64, social media, generate, generate. Let's see if that bumps up the blog score. It really shouldn't, because sending out an email newsletter, it did bump it up, 68, 76. Look at that. I'm not sure why that would bump it up. I know that getting traffic to your blog post from emails and social media is a good signal for Google and other search engines that your content is 
worth sharing and so it's probably worth ranking as well. But just by generating those, not even having sent it out, this is a pretty misleading number. Anyhow, let's save that. Let's uh, do, do, sure, project one, save. And now that we have that post, what we can also do, where'd it go? It's over here. Integrations. We can integrate with WordPress. And so if you're building on WordPress or Webflow or Squarespace or Medium or WooCommerce, any of these guys, we created a blog post which you wouldn't use in WooCommerce, but there's a lot of templates in here about e-commerce. Not a lot. There's four for Amazon. There must be some product descriptions and stuff. Anyway, so you can auto-publish to those places, these places that are integrated here. So we can auto-publish to WordPress. We create the post, publish it to WordPress. Makes it pretty easy to get the most out of Texta. But the writing assistant is like a little chat bot. Word Hero has a similar one, and it really, it's kind of like a gimmick in Word Hero, and it's the same in here. I've got a video on Word Hero as well if you want to check that out. It's pretty similar to Texta. The long form editor is not as cool as we just saw with the Texta writing, but it might be better in, in, as far as written content goes, but it's not as cool as the Texta one. Anyway, in the card above and the description down below, you can check out that Word Hero video. The bulk generation feature is somewhat interesting. What you have to do is you pick what you want to create. There's a product description. So I want to see if I can find a blog post. You can't find actual blog posts. So you can only find in here prompts that are smaller, that generate less content. For example, product descriptions. So what you do, you pick that, then you download the template to your computer. And this template is a CSV file. And once it's downloaded, you open it, and it'll open in numbers, I believe, on my computer. It should open in Excel on your computer. I don't want to update right now. So here is the template. You gotta type in the audience, let's say realtors, the name. This is the name of the product, so we're making product description. So this template will be different based on what you choose from this list here. Let's give it a name of CO2 detector, give it a description. I wrote a gadget that detects CO2 in your house. And then we want to duplicate this and give this another name, window blinds. For a description, I wrote textiles that block out the sun. I'm not sure how accurate that is. Anyway, I don't want to go to ChatGTP and create a long form description because that's what I want to use text for. So I'm just writing a description of the product and I'm hoping that it's gonna then create a fancy description based on what I wrote here. So I'm gonna save this, there we go, and then generate. And now it's going to, if I did that correctly, it's going to use the content. It's not doing anything. Is it doing something somewhere wrong? Excellent. Um, normally if it worked, it would use the content that I put in there and create product descriptions. Let's try uploading this manually the regular way, not dragging and dropping. Generate, something wrong. So. The brand new bulk generation tool isn't working for me right now. And the promise is you can create a lot of stuff at once. Shorter stuff. Stuff that you would use, um, like not blog posts. So all this blog, all these blog options up here, those would not be included. But that would be the really handy one, right? If you could generate lots of blog posts really quickly, that would be super handy. But it's not how it is. Uh, so we have projects as well. This is where you can organize your text of files. The editor is what we saw earlier. And that's about it. That's Texta in a nutshell. It is pretty awesome because it provides unlimited total words per month, whereas everybody else limits the words. It's only 69 bucks. If you want to check it out, click the link down below. It'll take you here. It is an affiliate link. If you buy through that link, I'll get a small commission. That helps me keep making these videos for you. So I really appreciate that. And if you haven't done so yet, check out this video for wordplay up here and the video for word hero down below. Both are tightly related to Texta, 
both I mentioned in this video and they are maybe better products so you'll want to check out better for your use case. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn from Limitless LTDs. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.